So we have ourselves a Doomfist rework. Blizzard has finally released what the rework for Doomfist is going to look like. We have this slide here. We're going to go through this briefly and then I'll talk about what I think that means, where his place is, and maybe a little bit of concern of, wait a second, are we stacking too many slows in general? So I'll go through this quickly, but Doomfist has been moved to the tank category, has had his health upped by 200, so he's got that full 450 there. We're not seeing any sort of talk of a hitbox adjustment or any change of like oh now he has armor anything like that so that gives us one question we don't really know exactly what's happening there I assume he didn't get you know oh we're giving him more armor now something like that I assume he's still pretty much looking at that as health but we don't actually know if he has his old passive you'll notice his old passive of when he hits people with abilities he gets over shield that's not talked about anywhere they don't say it's removed like they did for uppercut yes uppercut is removed but he did get power block and Power Block is definitely a defensive ability, so did he get it on top? And what Power Block does is it protects you from frontal attacks. And if you want a good example of what Power Block looks like, we fortunately have that because this is clearly the same image that's being used in the background for this slide here. And you can see this is some sort of shield. I assume it's on a cooldown, I don't know that, maybe it's a toggle on off type ability, but I assume for now that it's on a cooldown, and it does look like it in some way functions similar to a, similar to a Rhine shield where you can see these sort of hexagonal almost like shapes, where I would assume Tesla damage would go through it, Rhine swings would go through it, but it would block things like Zarya beams like Anna sleep darts that sort of thing we'll ultimately have to see what happens but that does seem like a relatively safe assumption and then when he absorbs damage from it if he absorbs enough damage from it it empowers his rocket punch and then that brings us over to rocket punch which has had its max charge time reduced to one second so we won't be able to hold that as long he's not really ever going to be just hard engaging with his rocket punch maybe he'll still do some rollouts where he rocket punches into a side McSlam, but he's not going to be going, hey, let me punch around a corner to do a maximum of 70 damage to someone. I mean, he could, it's a little bit of CC, it's not the worst thing in the world, but that doesn't seem like it'll be seen nearly as much as we'd have seen it in the past, where it could one-shot someone if they put them into a wall. So, charges for up to one second, would do maximum 70, would do minimum of 35 there if you haven't in any way charged it up with the power block if you charge it up with the power block you could get it back into one shot territory we don't know how much he can absorb with power block uh okay that brings us over to seismic slam and they tell us seismic slam now launches you just like winston's leap on landing it deals damage and slows enemy enemies and that concerns me a little bit like i get it you got rid of uppercut you went with seismic slam that removes a bunch of doomfist tech maybe less fun for some people but if it aims like winston's leap it looks like it's just better than winston's leap he's gonna hit with that slam he's gonna slow people i think that slow is going to be stronger than what winston would get in terms of the mini knockback that he'd get on people that seems pretty darn good in fact it feels like we might be getting a little heavy with our slows we've added in meteor strike which now adds a slow to all enemies hit so he's always had meteor strike when he hits with meteor strike now it also slows them so seismic slam applies a slow and it could be a group slow meteor strike applies a slow it could be a group slow again you can hit multiple people with both of these outer ring damage reduced to 100 minus 15 i'm gonna read it that way and activation time reduced to 0.5 seconds so he's gonna be able to fire that off faster so that could get a little powerful. You hit a seismic slam into Sojourn hitting an AoE slow, or a pile drive into Sojourn hitting an AoE slow. Maybe this is a Sojourn problem, not a Doomfist problem, but I'm seeing we're spreading a lot of slows through this game. Uh, you know, that's going to be less worrisome, perhaps, than some of the hard CC we had. Perhaps that'll be more fun to play into, but I suspect we're going to see a lot of slows in Overwatch 2. Uh, in this case on a tank character, but even on some non-tank characters, sounds like Casty may have a slow as well, if you saw that last leak video that we covered. And that puts us in a territory where slows are powerful in games that are about clicking on people, clicking on heads. Shots are a little, a lot easier to hit when people are slow, and especially in a hero shooter type game like this where people want to close distance, rotate on some 
roles, some classes, that sort of thing. So this will be interesting. In terms of Doomfist's semi-standard gameplay loop, it does seem like it would be seismic slam in, go ahead and maybe use the hand cannon a little bit, which has had its ammo recovery increased a little bit and its damage per pellet decreased from six to five. So it would be slam in, hit your slow, get your damage off of it like that, and then probably have to go for power block basically immediately because you've just jumped in the enemy face with what we're hearing about metas, how people are playing, leaks, rumors, theory crafting. It seems like backlines are pretty regularly stacking three people, tank plus double support, that sort of thing. So that slam would get some pretty good value, but you'd immediately need to protect yourself, especially if Doomfist isn't getting armor, especially if Doomfist doesn't have his overshield passive, which he may still have. So you'd go into the power block there, and then if you charge up enough, maybe you decide, hey, this is an all-in, and you rocket punch to finish someone off, and then you just sort of do what you can to survive and hope you don't feed, or you go, hey, I didn't get too much, or I got enough, but there's just too much heat here, let's ro rocket punch out, which you can obviously do, you can go, hey, let's seismic slam in and then power block, and then power rocket punch out. That's a lot of safety. Obviously, it's a directional shield with power block, but your rocket punch should be available for the disengage. That's really better than anything Winston would have, where Winston would have to go, hey, let me leap in, let me drop my bubble, and just try to survive long enough for my next leap to come out. Now, obviously, better Winstons are just going to drop on targets, find ways to soft engage, drop, jump up above, wait two, three seconds, drop, then your leap is only a couple seconds away, sure. But this looks like a more slippery hero. Smaller hitbox, smaller head hitbox, going to have that better control with that. Obviously, Obviously, you can get into, wait, is hand cannon better? Is Tesla Cleave better? Tesla Cleave is going to be better if you're against multiple targets there. And obviously, Winston is going to have that armor as well. But that's something that I start looking at and going, hmm, are, are we looking at some creep here? But maybe that doesn't matter because you already had Hammond as competition. You guys tell me, does Doomfist feel too close to Hammond if they're both in the tank category? They both knock people around quite a bit, though there should be less knocking around with no uppercut, with Seismic Slam sort of that condensed uppercut plus seismic slam ability does it feel too much like hammond does it feel too much like winston is there enough difference between these tanks are you guys worried about the creeping of slow into this game do you think that instead he's going to engage with rocket punch a, a bunch and slam out i don't think that's terribly likely but you guys let me know if you're enjoying the coverage please drop a like consider subscribing that way you'll get to see more and as you see more here you know we'll continue to go through some of the meta prediction stuff some of the leaks things like that as well as as the game starts up we'll immediately get into it that coaching this will be your source to get that good stuff and get better at overwatch 2 thanks and pour a lap